Well, it looks as if I have something to say today. I'm walking out of my apartment. Here's my new sign. We are being lied to. I have some friends that are having some of these dreams. These bad kind of dreams. Makes me think that the powers that think they be, I don't know, maybe something's ramping up with them and the energies. And that's how these dream states are being produced. I don't know. It could just be fear out in the world that's producing these dream states. But I do know one thing. I'm not living within this reality, and when I say I'm going to Mandela affect it, it isn't just sitting around a lot of times and thinking about stuff. Sometimes it's putting things into action. I have a lot of friends that get kind of scared of the powers that be, think that they can control and do things to them without realizing that we're all part of the infinite energy of source. And as so, there's nothing higher than that that can attack us. So, that's why I reach out, do a speaking. I've even reached out to be a public speaker now. All my stuff is public, on Facebook everywhere. And right now, I shall show you guys how you can get these messages out with no fear. And bring our reality into what we want it to be. You don't have to accept this stuff. Now you notice this just says COPD. I, I was diagnosed that way, but I'm not writing down I have that. I'm putting spells on myself. I'm working on myself, trying to get my body better. And no mask. That will go into something I will talk about in a live video. Um, but probably go right after this video. Uh, that's interesting a friend had told me as far as an exercise and the cool thing is, is It's already on my mask or on my sign But see the thing is is now in the state that I'm in they s decided to get stupid and go against the US Constitution Supposedly passed a law. I don't see how you can pass a law when the Constitution says that they cannot pass a law that everybody has to wear masks without any proof that people are being killed by anything and all the proof is showing that it's all bullshit. They keep scrubbing the hell out of Facebook and YouTube and all my friends showing truth. So, we have many ways in which to work this process. I got to thinking, every time I walk in, they ask me if I have a mask. Yesterday, there was four people standing there as they asked me that. I said, read my sign or I get out my phone. Sorry, sir, didn't see your sign. So I got to thinking, there's an opportunity. A small crowd of people standing there with this woman. Maybe I can give a message. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to have this pointing at the ground the whole time. I gotta be careful. There's people out here walking. I don't want to accidentally pan my camera over and there'll be some little kids in a picture and violate YouTube rules or anything. Um, in the sky right now, a little bit of clouds. Not a whole lot up there to look at. Um, you know, like cloud wise or anything interesting. Well, actually, there could be. Uh, digital cameras seem to catch shit that uh, a lot of times your eyes can't see so I'm sure if I focus on it for a while you might see something who knows All kind of stuff going on up in the sky Yeah, we're getting ready to cross Telegraph Road here Well Stewart Road then we'll cross over Telegraph and go to the Myers Oh, by the way, I'll turn this around so you can see that it is me talking to you. Hi. Hopefully you can hear I'm right by a main road and it's loud. I push this button across the road here. Oh, that's a nice bike. And I don't want to point the camera directly at nobody and get anybody irritated. Excuse me. Uh, you know that sign said, walk, dude. You gotta be careful on this road. 
even when the sign says you can walk, there's some people that seem to either not be paying attention or I don't know, whatever the case may be. I've had it happen plenty of times where people like almost like hit you or come close to and then they look at you and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, or look up from a cell phone. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Even got laws against cell phones, yet people are getting on these cell phones and still talking on them as they go down the road, knowing that all the studies show it's as bad or worse than drinking and driving. It's like, for real? I don't like when somebody calls me when I'm trying to drive. I shut the damn phone off, you know? Talk to me when I get home. Roads are screwy enough, you know? Especially you get in rush hour traffic in a metro area. Like up in and around Metro Detroit or any of your big cities throughout the country. I mean, hell, I've seen some stuff in Cali. It's like, oh my God, I'm glad I don't live there. Talk about gridlock. It's literally gridlock. I could jog, fa jog next to the car faster than the people are moving. <laughs> you know, not run, jog. <laughs> And that's really saying something. Now the only thing is, is doing what I'm about to do, you gotta, well just as long as this works out all right, people there to talk to, you gotta get over the fact of looking weird to the common world around you. This is the same parking lot that I yelled at one day about, you know, that thing. So, yeah, you do stuff like this, you might get looked at a little bit weird. Oh, oh hell no. This is actually a friend. I'm gonna shut this down for a second. Alright, I turned it back on. Let's see what happens. of revelations is now. We're all being lied to. All shall be revealed. We are conscious evolution. Much love. Have a great day. And there you go.